Well, with the revelations currently in uh, the murder trial of Oscar Pistorius, it has become quite uh, evident that his defense team has gone and pulled their sleeves even up higher in this last bit to try and keep the Paralympian out of uh, prison. And just taking into consideration the kind of witnesses that are taking the stand currently uh, for the defense is uh, really a clear indication that uh, you know we are uh, reaching the end of uh, this trial and the defense really has to really prove their case 10 times harder than they have been throughout this trial. Now, day 34 of uh, the trial, of course, started this morning uh, with the sound expert Ivan Lin wrapping up his testimony under cross-examination. Now, you'd remember he was called in to come and give clarity on, uh, you know, the ambience um, on the morning of Valentine's Day when the Paralympian shot and killed Riva Stienkamp. He also had to come and give clarity on whether one can... Uh, uh, clearly distinguish between a male and a female voice screaming. And this is because the defense has been maintaining that Riva Stienkamp never screamed, that it was only the Paralympian that screamed after he shot her and that he screams like a woman when in uh, distress. Uh, and, and the reason why that is so important is because, of course, it goes to the heart of the state's case, them arguing throughout this trial that the Paralympian shot and killed Riva Stienkamp out of rage and that it it was not an intruder that he was aiming at. Um, but, of course, we heard earlier as well in this trial that the state ballistic expert gave us a clear indication that the evidence that they collected shows that the, um, that the deceased must have screamed, meaning that uh, the Paralympian was aware who he was shooting at. Of course, that testimony was wrapped up, followed by... Uh, the latest witness who will be testifying tomorrow again, and that is the character witness, the manager of the Paralympian, um, and that is Piet van Sale, who came and gave a very pic picture-perfect image of uh, the Paralympian and who also uh, talked about the relationship that the Paralympian had with Riva Stienkamp, uh, labeling it as kind, caring and loving. So in a nutshell, that's what happened today. But I am joined by a guest who will take us through uh, the trial um, or of today's proceedings, of course, and that is Dr. Llewellyn Kluis, who's joining us now to tell us more about what is happening with the Oscar Pistorius murder trial. Uh, well, welcome, Dr. You're very welcome to you as well. Now, of course, uh, you know, character witness this stage of this trial. Is it too late? Is it the right time? No, there are no hard and fast rules obviously applicable in all circumstances. Uh, character witness as in general is inadmissible unless obviously a court allow it uh, to for the one side but if the court allows it for the one side, obviously the court must also allow it to the other side. And up to now, the court uh, was reluctant uh, to, to, to allow all kinds of evidence purely for the sake of introducing it. However, during the, the state's case, character with evidence was introduced in court. Now, obviously, a court will then now also give the prerogative for the, def the defense, so to speak, to also allow character evidence. Um, but what the weight to be attached to that evidence, that is a total different ballgame altogether. Um, like I say, as a general rule, character evidence is supposed to be inadmissible. Okay. Now, would, would you not say it probably would have been best for the defense to reserve this character witness for when we enter the mitigation stage of this trial? Well, first of all, he has not been convicted yet. So there's no guarantee that we will get to a mitigating stage, uh, if, if ever. That's the first thing. The second thing is, obviously, where it has an impact on the question before court. And the question before court is, what went on in his head the moment he pulled the trigger? Because that is the question before court regarding intention. The state must prove intention beyond reasonable doubt in order to secure a conviction. Therefore, the state of mind of the accused is of paramount importance in this instance. And if this character evidence can persuade the court one way or another what his state of mind was, obviously that is, uh, goes to the heart of the question before court, and that's the reason why the court probably allowed it. Now, talking about his state of mind, yesterday we dealt with the psychiatric report that is still being uh, studied as we speak right now. Um, now, some people said as well that, you know, the defense might have shot itself through the foot by introducing that piece of evidence and having the Paralympian observed. Yeah, first of all, obviously, it's not a question of the defense introduced the evidence. They called a witness which laid a foundation. 
And as a result of that evidence then that came out in court, the state was obliged in terms of the Criminal Procedure Act to react and comply with the Criminal Procedure Act, which actually uh, uh, was obligatory, uh, f forcing the court's hand, so to speak, to compel him to go for the psychiatric evaluation for 30 days. So that is trite law. However, taking that into consideration, up to that stage, I'm quite happy that we fulfilled the Criminal Procedure Act. But what happened yesterday is that the court basically provisionally allowed the results to come into, into the, uh, to the court's attention without giving the opportunity to both the defense and the, the state to dispute it if they want to do so. And they still have that opportunity to do so, obviously. OK, I'll have to cut you there. And that was Dr. Llewellyn K. Lewis giving us a wrap of day 35 of the Oscar Pistorius a murder trial. Tomorrow, when we return, Piet van Sale will continue his cross-examination. Um, of course, the state prosecutor, Advocate Harry Nell, has already, uh, you know, showed his dissatisfaction. He said that the state was ambushed. He did not expect uh, Fancel to take this stand today, but he will continue his testimony tomorrow when we return. Thank you, Patricia Fasaki, live from the Oscar Pistorius murder trial underway in Pretoria. Tomorrow, character witness, that's Pitt Van Zale, will take the stand. Van Zale is Oscar Pistorius's manager. Court has been adjourned for the day, though. Proceedings resume tomorrow morning when we will continue our rolling live coverage of the trial right here on Channel 404.